Yes, sir. and of course, uh, in case you're still watching, you're doing such a great job. Luze Andrew Anderson is my name. And guess what? This time around, we are still at the UMA. You know, the exhibition show is going on. And in case you've not come through, it is better you come in as early as possible because people are already flocking the entire place. But anyway, this time around, we decided to first visit Jude Color Solution. And for the people who have been watching, I think you've seen the cutaways. These guys do lots and lots of stuff. And of course, we are going to be talking to a lady. What's up? How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm looking, uh, you're looking good, I should say. Even That's my nature. Way, even the way you're dressed in the <laughs> Yeah. For so someone who is watching you at home, uh, let's start with your names. Um, Shibela. 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 Yes. And you work as who when it comes to Jude Color Solutions? Sales, public relations. Yeah. Yes. So now, what is it that exactly you offer? Because we've seen watches, we've seen pillows, we've seen the other side where they do stitching. We've seen like, what specifically do you do? Okay, so Jude Color Solutions is mainly a branding company. Uh, we deal in personalized items, customized items, okay, stuff like that. Mainly a branding company. We add value to companies, we add value to you as a person. If you want to customize your t shirt or customize a cup, customize your comp, anything like that. Yes, yeah. yeah, so we have everything to do with branding a company or branding you yourself. Uh, we have signages, we have corporate wear, we have everything a company needs to be on it. That's why our theme this year is linear step. Because when you're branded, you can't be like any other company elsewhere. Like that's why when I when I move out there, they can be like, okay, this is from Jude. Like she's from Jude. Yeah. So we do something. Like so let's imagine someone who is at home and they've not yet come here at Uma. You want to direct them exactly where you are located right now. Right here. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, we are we are near nice plastics, nice house of plastics, just behind nice house of plastics, um, in front of MTN MTN booth. Yeah, something like that. So now uh, away. Now let's imagine another person is let me say in Jinja and is watching us. Maybe is in Masaka, but now they want to come at the offices. How can you direct them? Yeah, so our offices are in town at Prime Complex, as if you're sloping to Arua Park, that building, Prime Complex, Shop C24, yes. What, what is the cheapest item you're having here, the cheapest? Uh, the cheapest item, we have various cheap items, we are, we are so affordable by the way. The cheapest, the cheapest you can easily remember. Okay, we have mugs at 15,000. 15,000, that is... 15,000. Yes, we also have t shirts at 15,000. Yeah, then the, the, the most expensive that you yourself you'd wish even to buy. Key holders at 5,000. Yeah. yeah. So the most expensive that you also wish that if you had the money you would buy that one there. The most beautiful thing here now. Right now, right now there's so many beautiful things. If it's a gift, if it's a gift and you know a man wants to buy it for you, customized, yours specifically, which one would you go for right now? There's a nice walk look. Over there in the let's corner. Go there, let's go there. I will see that one there. Yes, you can just go there. So, this is what I would like because yeah. this one uh, I can put as many pictures as possible, yeah. and when I'm fed up of the pictures, I can always change to other pictures. That's why I like this wall clock. And it's, it's like craft made, it's, it's not like you're not going to find it like everywhere. Yeah. No, it was, it, yeah. So, how much does it go for? 500,000. 500,000. Hmm. But this one looks beautiful. It's worthy. It's more worthy. Yeah, it's very beautiful. Uh, so, uh, now that we are ending, any other things that you'd love to tell people about Jude Color Solution that they should visit you? Okay, so many people out there think that we deal in uh, paint because of the color solution. But we are the number one branding company here in Kampala. Plus, uh, if you want something personalized, you as you, not a company, but you as a person, we add value to your things like T-shirts, uh, for example, pens. You want to be identified. Even the pillows. Pillows, everything. We personalize it to your, your name or your face. Come around, be different from any other ordinary person. That's what we do. Yes, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Yes, sir. and guess what? Of course, we are still here at 
Uma and uh, this time round Trina Umami Gwetusazeko that is James Otem and of course for him if you love eating if you love drinking there are those spices of Simaina Senyinza Kugamba but if you love peanut butter this guy has also been awarded by the president himself as the gentleman who can do the best peanut butter here in Uganda and if you've never tested his peanut butter guess what we are going to be talking to him this time round even put on a court hello what's up how are you doing I'm good thank you very much how are you I'm doing very do you know, I'm, I feel so privileged to be standing with a man who makes the best peanut butter in the country. I think we're privileged to have you as one of our customers, right? Yes. The customers are the ones that make us improve and make us this good, so yeah. we're privileged to have you at our store. So thank you very much. Because one thing that got me so surprised, you've gotten so many awards for starters, and even away from that, people have recognized you. I came with some lady, she was like, that guy. That guy James is having the best peanut butter around the country and I'm like, I know. So, what is the, the, the recipe or what is it that you put in here that other people don't even know about? Just take us through the peanut butter. I don't know whether they have different brands or they all the same. Okay, so basically it's, it's important to know what doesn't go into our peanut butter as opposed to what goes into it. So the locally made peanut butters, when you eat it at the bottom you'll find some stones or soil. Ours doesn't have that. Problems with uh, peanut butter in Uganda as well, there's a lot of metal contamination using these locally made machines. Our equipment does not have any metal to metal contact and also we have a metal detector in line. So when we sort our groundnuts before we shell, then after shelling we sort again before we roast and then after roasting we sort again before we grind. Right? Before doing that as well, we actually put it through a metal detector yeah. to ensure that what you're getting is real quality. Well, now, let's get, let's get your story. How does this come to, to, to like real life? Before like, uh, it was bottled like the way yeah. it is, before it went on the market, yeah. give us that story. That's a very good question. So actually, I am a farmer yeah. and I'm also a manager of farmers. Yeah. We're a farmers group from Gulu. We are called Quayo Growers Cooperative Society Limited. So what we used to do before, we used to grow groundnuts, but we used to just sell them as they were. But then we decided to, what, to do what is called adding value. So by adding value, it means you get a bit more for your product than you would by selling it as it was when you harvest it. So what you do is right now, we have uh, farmers, about 430 farmers, all growing groundnuts. We have an extension worker that goes looking at their farms, ensuring that they follow the right steps when planting, weeding, uh, they don't use any pesticides when spraying their crops, and then also when they harvest, right, to make sure that they're harvesting the right time, right, and they dry the right way. In addition to this, we support the farmers with tractor hire services. So we have a tractor which we lend to our farmers at a subsidized cost, allowing them to actually grow more. Now when we get the grain, we then take it to our factory. At the factory, that's where the magic begins, yes. right? So we put the maybe 30 bags into our sheller, the machine that removes the pods from the grain, right? So that's a shelling system. After the shelling, we sort. Any grain that doesn't look right for peanut butter, we remove. Anything that should not be in the peanut butter, we remove, right? When we do that and we're happy with it, we then roast. We know what temperatures to roast so that when we are offloading the groundnuts, they are not fully cooked, right? Because they continue cooking until they are completely cool. So we know when to offload it. So if you offload your groundnuts when they are cooked, it means you'll most probably burn your groundnuts. So we know when to offload our groundnuts. And, and what I love with this is that uh, so many people are, are, are having, uh, they are like employed in one way or the other. Because now imagine from the farmers to the people who are the tractors, uh, to, to the people who bring, who pack and offload, to the people who do this, to the people who even put, you know, the stickers. So at the end of the day, it is a junk of people that benefit out of this. So as we are winding up, what is it that you love to tell Ugandans when it comes to this? And the other thing, just in case, uh, you know, uh, they've not come here at Uma, where can they find you? And just in case they want to contact you and they want to get like in big numbers, how can they do that? That's fantastic. So um, we are hoping people will come to Uma. But we understand by giving them even the location where we are right now at Uma. So we are at uh, Lugogo, opposite Chadondo Rugby Club, yeah. where the Uma showgrounds are. Yeah. Please come along. I think the entry is 5,000 shillings. Yeah. It's worth paying because you'll see a lot of things, not just peanut butter. Yeah. But please, when you come here, make sure you come to a peanut butter stand because actually what we'll do is... Now, now, now we'll tell them where it is, where the stand is. Now, our stand is in the Uma Multipurpose Hall. 
we are stall number 012. Yes. Right, so come along through the area where they're the Italians and you'll find a group of really nice Ugandans. Yes. Right, so this is a Ugandan product. Please try and use this quality product. And now if they don't come here, but they want to contact you to get, you know, big souls, where are they supposed to go? Sure. We are opening a shop in Old Kampala, Martin Road, opposite Quality Supermarket, yeah. room number G11. You'll find the signpost on the top of the sh uh, shopping mall and you can get in there and you can find our peanut butter. Alternatively, you can call uh, the lines that we have on MTN 0776-843. On MTN 0776-843-626. And on Airtel 0705-168-953. This peanut butter is just so nice, just so beautiful, more than some of the things you can ever, ever taste. And of course, that's the reason for this, yeah? That's the reason for this. Yes, sir. and of course we are still here, UMA and the Republic of Uganda Ministry of Health, the Presidential Initiative for the Malaria Free Uganda. Of course, our level source management of mosquito vectors for malaria control and elimination in Uganda. Yes, also these guys are here and uh, they are trying to be doing exhibition. And of course, uh, these are experimental stuff. Yeah, this one here, experimental of different muscular types. Kati, here in Uganda, one thing you're not supposed to be forgetting, that malaria is one of the most killer diseases here in Uganda. It kills even more than HIV. You get my point. So, there are different organizations that come together, you know, to fight, you know, in Ugandans, they are fighting for Ugandans to eliminate malaria, which kills the biggest percentage of kids. And of course, this organization tries out so much for the kids below five years. So here I'm with uh, some gentleman who is going to be telling us about this entire thing. Tell them, whom am I with? Uh, me, I'm Dr. Shadi Muhammad. Uh, I've been here in Uganda for the last uh, 12 years. Well, I've been working uh, through uh, a government framework before, between the government of Uganda and the government of Egypt. Uh, our main mandate was to sort out once and for all uh, the malaria issues. Not only to treat or to do those things, but to study the causes of the problems. What is the main sources of the, the problems, either at the community level starting from the village, the sub-county, at the district, up to central level at the Ministry of Health. Then the ministry shall have informed decision from facts on the ground. Uh, part of our work was a joint research program for development of natural-based products that can be produced locally not to be imported, but we have the capacity to produce it here at the national level because uh, we believe that unless we can uh, seriously manufacture and local source part of our com the commodities we need for malaria elimination, we cannot really do it. We'll keep just on talking about it or around it or sometimes you do it, sometimes you fail. Because in some cases we had the, the challenges of uh, funding programs, but this program is funded by the government of Uganda. The government of Uganda, the political leadership, the technical people, uh, the, 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 the local communities have agreed that this is a right way to go ahead. Funds were granted. Uh, we had support from some programs. We had support from what you call country partner, uh, uh, country partner mechanism, mainly through the government of Egypt. They have supported at, at the academic level, at the technology transfer. Uh, we have uh, many stakeholders. 
who have supported us. It's not a work of one. Even we had many ministers, we had many members of parliaments we, who have been supporting not only Ministry of Health, because it's a, it's, a, it's a community level. It can affect someone you love in the village. You can lose a relative, you can lose a, a, a newborn, a, a kid, an elder, pregnant woman. So really, it, it's now touching everyone. It's not just t touching one group and others, no. Maybe in Kampala, where we started, things have been better. But in other places, but we are working on them, we are delivering. So here mainly, the scientific part, not to be... The mosquito life cycle, it starts from water, yes. and then hatching up into an adult. This is where it will put the eggs. Yes. Here you will see where the mosquitoes, you see the adult? Yes, he cannot catch it, but you can witness yeah. the adult. So our work to make it not to hatch to an adult. Yes, where it becomes infectious. And when we are doing this, we, we, we don't want to kill the fish. Yes. We don't want to kill the plants. We don't want to kill other, non, what we call non-target. Yes. We need this water to be very safe in a way. So, for example, if this is what we are using, for others they use chemicals and pesticides. Yes. Can you eat a chemical? No, because it will affect you. It will kill you? Yes, slowly. Not when you can take. This is what we use. And it is safe. You know the program, look at the program name. It's safe, let's uh, go to fight malaria. So this is the level where we have reached. This is the president. We have been working from different districts. Here are the results of uh, in, this is in Nakasongola. In Nakasongola, this is the decline in the malaria cases and the malaria decline. Works. Yes, we have worked in many districts, yes. but for that, this is the report we are publishing. Yes. But we have other districts, as we can see. What is this one here? This machine. No, this is just to show the, 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 the type of equipment we, we use, just, just to demonstrate. So in case someone wanted to come and visit, you know, where, where are you, where are your offices? Uh, uh, the, uh, he writes to the commissioner, yeah. okay, National Disease Control, yes. CC to the malaria program manager. They can write directly or through the local authority, yes. through the, uh, the local government, because every district has a DHO. So the DHO needs to write, yes. because we know the DHOs, we see them, we can uh, uh, understand the problem. Then when this district is added to the program, we shall come and people shall receive the service totally free of charge. That is great job. Uh, you know, you're doing it and you're doing it for Ugandans and you're doing it free of charge and you're making all these researches. You help someone not to die because of malaria, because they die because of something which is curable or something that is prevented. That is really awesome. What is it that you'd love to tell all the Ugandans when it comes you know, to this malaria, you know, eradication in Uganda? Malaria elimination and not only malaria, even other diseases we are able to eliminate them. Elimination is the process that can take a few years. But meanwhile, we can have effective control measures that prepares the ground. For when we talk elimination, we talk it with reports. We don't just talk it in presentation or in through official and scientific. So this scientific decision, when it's supported by a political decision, funds are created. We have been working since 2008. We have faced many challenges, we have faced many crises, we have lost people, we have lost... Uh, but still, as long as there is the political will and there are committed officers, things can move around. But we cannot sustain any program minus locally manufacturing of, 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 of malaria supplies. We cannot just keep on getting donation if the donor stop sending the money we have 
our people die. Maybe you have a relative who died, but you don't know why. Has a, someone who has died of malaria here in Uganda, but, every but you family. you didn't know why. I tell you why, because the funds have stopped. So the, some programs, it's not the, 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 the challenge of the ministry or the officers. It's challenge that there is, the donor have stopped. So if the donor have stopped, we, we, we get a very big bad response sometimes that things can get worse than before. And this is what happened when they have stopped some IRS programs. So, but at least when I'm locally supplying internationally standard products, who are medical supplies, who have standards, who don't have alternatives, who are not producing juice. With respect to the food industry, but the, the, the pharmaceuticals have even more bitter standards. Very bitter. When you, but we are able to do it because already it's in the process. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Numa for a healthy living since 1995. Of course, our vision is to provide a high quality, nutritious gain products to improve livelihood. Of course, the mission is to provide high quality, nutrients gain products through the value addition to raw materials sourced from the local community. Core values, of course, integrity, persistency, customer service, efficiency, and partnership. Lianga Tebioria of Funamu, Obere no Mobili, Karasing Hans, Oberenga, Olavi Kanga, Yevulonjino. What's up? Forgot about your boss, Kajaka. This is a gen details. Nagan is a Zenio, of course, Terra Moa Benjamin. Kati, a mere one on the Chenda Yoet Singo Bukuru, a mere a remove Vidisa, or Mutalia, Fua. At so continue, so get to Tanikre Kunsonge. Eno numa, e cha tuine vintu vya fevi no vyo na Bushera, ye best product, our best product We have super rice Our brand is now moving very fast through several areas in Uganda You can find us in any supermarket you happen to go to right now If you do not find us here Our prices are very very good We have one of our major products as super rice this is proper super, no mixing. Sibia Kutabura. Ndo Mochere Bagutabu Demoka is or Simani, Guno Gui de Guno de Gui do, Vimani, Vyobotari. Never go in Isaquesa was in Okanoka rice frog in Yini, or no Guno Mochere was super. Abasoboro, Kujawa, no Mokatari, to in any samples. Obsera will never win you the Frasca Satu. When you obsera, when you rice to Fura. So I rice with inkeje, this is a composite. Nyezi mukago kuda wa guru omana wa anywa avaria. Kanoka mere na buji. Twina one soya rice atari munkeji. Enona yo mixture of soya and rice. Kaba kankumi tan ku ku wholesale price. Ne tube rako ne major product sendara wano. Twina omuoko. In a brand nunji nyo, cassava pure. Omwere, yeah. toja kusanga mu mainja, toja kusanga mu musenyu. Bine products is a fezo na, teri kuriango wandura. Yes. Che chikuru. Kwanga, wetuwa jira mukatare, haba singa bari veta midua products is a groceries. Nga vaze yo mucharo kukubira wa jajaba wa wabasindi kire mene mutawuni. Katunuma wa ya jira mukatare wanu, nechu saburi chintu chona. Eracho vora waturi kumapu. Supermarkets is toward the water, and to Batuko Virama Sim, Gawen Kugambi, or now Ogenda, Numa Wedi. At so continually on Netegre Zebruns in your Bramu Biriwadian Nino Kuria, and Neno Kuanga Nang and Bere Angagwe. Bere, Benino Kuangambe, or Neno Yabot, Nebot, because all these are like balanced that, I should say. Katim Pitidam. Maden Sava, Ota and Kiroko Soya rice, soya with millet. Kanoka soya mire tika fe Kakola ancho o karia Oso o jako just jiko bidi Uka tugambento ugenu Kako kakunyua 
ojako just jiko bili chisinzira abu nene chi obwe chikopo owa entamu joge ndo kukozesa no mixing amu maza aganyogoga you make a paste no fumba amazigo ne gajja burunji no yuwa mchikopo the fact that intikari musoya buri product yari musoya uwa weta gajji fumba koda chika tano kukumina tano na hebo obo ya gara instant nga cha kunyue rao cha kuri rao opiki nga wari product ya feyobu sera Oba mchiko po oba muta mute weta aga kufumbiri zanti kari koko kuku Nyiwa kano nengkanywa mkwantiti yake ntufu Mba ncheta agiso kulie chikomando Neda Sibi ako ato Mba ndide mba mba ndide mmeri Kufa kumacha obo zibie mkokoto Mbotamburi dao Kano kari ku promotional price ya sawa zino kari kusatu bibiri Hei Guno mchere 5 kilo wa 22500 22500 Kire mu eba ya nyabitano Muro nde teri jogu jogu wa supa nga simu tavure Guri kunuma woka woka Kambuze wemba waneno wetuli kuuma Wali wabwa mula giri lawa ni wali desk yo Mula giri rote Abasi inga wano bama nyiche vaita pride bank Baba ingi de okuwa mugete ili yeru gogo Asoburo kuno nyawari pride bank Watuka ku pride bank Atambura butambu zi straight Paka kumudara kwa fajaku banga alaba fraya kwa fobwa numa Oba na ita kungoko wari wari okuku Ajaku raba yuga chiku wano Atambure butambu za jaku sanga wano Atu wabata ze wano naga manze ngenda genda kukampa njembamba no na nze nsubule busubuzi Wane ntinda tuinao autoreti ya fe Kuchizimbe kuriko Bank of Africa AAR Awari wa autoreti ya fe ye ntinda esobo roku mwaburi product yo neri wano Ate no mchero kwa kilo habiri mutano, atano na gotu kukora. No busera kilo habiri mutano, nevi sigade vyo natu vikora. Wow. Yes. Omari lizanga wa na Uganda, owa gamba chiwe chidja kunuma. Mba gamba wa na Uganda, nti besi genuma. Kubanga tuze mukatare, sivya kuwa ambabu wambi. Tutuunda kwa ritei. Ngabu yengu gambi, feche tuwe simi za kuproducti za fe. Bobo ria teri kuwa andura. Teri kwe murugunya, teri kugama nchimanyi, entamute vajwa zeza burunji, ngogeze za kukuoreleza kampuni zozo ya garo kuo, zo manjiride. Gura kunuma toja kwe jusa. Nice being business with you. Bine vintu vye visi inga, tulie vino kati.